All right, so today we're going to be getting into Chris Massey from Zoe 101, his mother defending Dan Snyder's allegation. Let's get into it. Never done anything to us. And when I said that it was the parents fault, who allows their children to get a ride with, with a staff member to work? Who allows their children to spend a night with staff members? That's what I was talking about. So for when all these people are Instagramming me and saying all these things about me, I have really tough skin. And, uh, and yeah, I have tough skin. And that This is not about you having tough skin. This is about children being taken advantage of. And you're in support of the person who takes advantage of kids. Yes, their parents should get some of the blame, but this person has allegations over them for taking advantage of kids. It's not about the tough skin that you have or about your kids wasn't um, taken advantage of by the person. Some children were, and you coming in support of this person makes it seem like it wasn't the person's fault. You see how you blame the, the parents? Let's continue. Don't bother me. I don't give a shit about what they're talking about, about accusing me of stuff that they don't know. These people about. have been attacking me all day long on Instagram, the very place that claims that they have community guidelines, talking all this stuff about me and saying, and basically being prejudiced because I, and the, and the comments are, because Dan Snyder is white, that I'm not supposed to be um, I'm not supposed to be supportive of him. Well, the world is, is a diverse place. My boy, you're being condescending. It's not because Dan Snyder is white. It's the allegations against him. Usually people with those type of allegations, they don't get sympathy. Okay, and why are you defending this man? And he made a whole apology, apologizing for his actions. That means he he's done some of what is being accused of. Why are you supporting a guy who apologized for his actions based on the allegations that people are making against him? He's apologizing. He's not even like coming out so strong, defending himself, how you, like how you doing it. This is why people is coming at you. Like you can't like see, <laughs> like what the hell is really going on with this lady? Let's continue. Um, when you go to the hospital, it's white people, it's black people, it's other ethnicities. I'm not racist. I'm not ignorant. I, I, um, and just because he's white, I'm not going to turn my back on him. And just because he's no longer with the net with that particular network, I'm not going to turn my back on him. Um, and that's that's my experience with him. My experience, my personal experience, Angel Massey's experience with him has been nothing but exemplary. The man is a genius. Um, and and for for the people. What about the other people's experience with him? When it comes down to the allegations, do you even care about that? Or you just only care about your experience. Nobody even really asks you for your experience. You know, these people came out and this, they decided that they're going to make a docu-series about the allegations against Dan. And you just come out of nowhere just defending him when he's already apologized for the behaviors that the docu-series are alleging against him. A lady, like, just get off the internet, shut down your social media, and just take some break. Matter of fact, watch over this video, read into the docu-series, and, and come back down to earth. Because nobody has ever mentioned your name. You just come out of nowhere supporting this guy with these ridiculous allegations. So, boy, when people want to be strong and wrong, they just be strong and wrong. That are not familiar with television. 
he is right when he said in his answer that there are so many levels of vetting that every television show has to go through. So for one person to be have to take the fall for something, I don't think that that's fair. And um, yeah, so that's all. Yeah, I come from a very high character family, which I think is super interesting how. If the allegation is against that person for what the person did, who is supposed to get the blame other than the person? Like, is this person serious? Nah, this person can't be serious. This is all a emotional response because you can see heated, passionate about it, coming out, making a video. Oh, I'm, I'm strong. But nobody's talking about your strength. What about the children that this person take advantage of? Those children weren't in the capacity to have that strength that you have as a grown person. Do you ever thought about that? Or do you even care about that? Let's continue. People's brains work and how easily somebody can be brainwashed. And when I use the word brainwashed from my definition of brainwashed, meaning that you can jump on a bandwagon and we, and if you watch television, you know the power of editing. And I Speaking of brainwash, lady, you're sounding like someone who's brainwashed and your definition, what the hell is that? There is a definition for brainwash. What do you mean your definition? What the hell? Um, I would advise this lady, just delete this video. You shouldn't have never made this video. It's not that serious with you. Nobody cares about you when it comes down to these allegations. People's only focusing on Dan Snyder. So when you come out and throw yourself in the middle of it, like you're, 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 you're trying to like take the bullet for Dan, this is what happens. And then now you're so shocked, like, oh, people's coming for me. Why are they coming for me? You jump in front of this man who was about to take the bullet he deserved. Let's continue. Still stand by what I said. The people, you have to be mindful of the people that bring things to other people. Because I still stand by what I said in the post. So just read them. And, um, and I'm not, I didn't watch the documentary. And I have no plans on watching the documentary because I want to remember Dan Snyder as the person that he was to us. We had an exemplary ride with um, Nickelodeon. We had an exemplary ride with Dan Snyder. And I am not a bandwagon person. I'm for what's right. That says it all. You're not going to watch the docuseries. So basically, the children that are bringing the allegations to Dan, you don't care about their allegations. You don't care about what happened to them because none of that happened to your kids. You never experienced any of that, so you don't care about that. So let's just support Dan and forget about what happened to those kids. Copy. Copy. Let me know what you guys think.